it's really nice to meet you too. I'm, I'm a fan. Oh. I think that you're super terrific. And um, I, I can't believe what happened, what we all watched. Um, so, and for those those of you who didn't get sucked into The Bachelor this year, uh, it, it was a good one. It, this was a good one to, to watch. Um, not for your heart, but for us. As, a, <laughs> as people watching, it was like really fascinating. Yeah. So, so he proposes to you. Yes. He then tells you that uh, he keeps thinking about Lauren mm -hmm. and wants to go back to Lauren. But first he called her to make sure that she would take him back. Right. Then he tells you that he wants to go try it with yes. her. Um, it's and like a soap opera. It is a soap opera, it, but yeah. it's real, which is fascinating to us that we're watching your heart being played with. Yeah. Um, so, w w how, because this happened a while ago. How, when, right. did, when did it happen? Um, now it happened about two months ago. Okay, so how are you feeling now? I feel good. Um, you know, I went through the entire grieving process. I was mad, I was sad, I was confused, but now I watched the entire season back and saw his relationships unfolding with everyone else and seeing that kind of helped move on to realize he just found a better fit with Lauren and so we're right. doing well. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, um, and how are you excited about, when do you start? Tomorrow. Tomorrow. I mean, this is actually my first one-on-one -on -one, though. Uh -huh. So it starts today. So yeah, I'll meet all of the men tomorrow. Yeah, but are you gonna give me a rose? I will give you a rose. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you get all the roses. All right, so wait, so tomorrow you start where they get out of the limo and yes. you meet them all? Yeah. Wow. I and know. how long is that night usually? Oh gosh. It goes till I think I was there at 8:30 at night till 8:30 the next morning. So it's long. So you have to stay awake that whole time. Yes. So your life is, I mean, like you've gotten. I'm surprised that you want to go back and do this because it was. It, it, well, no, let me just ask you this. So that night when he came over that that day, whatever it was, mm -hmm. you had no idea. It was just one of those private, secret locations that you're right. supposed to meet. Yeah. And you thought he was just coming to see you. Yeah, yeah, I thought we were gonna have a happy couple weekend together. Right. And so I was completely blindsided when he walked in and the second he didn't have his luggage, I was like, something's up here. Yeah, so, and then that was a total like surprise that, but he told the producers ahead of time, I'm gonna break up with Becca. Right, yeah. So that they were filming and at one point, I mean, at what point did you not just scream, get out of here? <laughs> Well, watching it back, I didn't realize that I said just leave or get out that many times. I felt like in the moment my brain just kind of shut off and I was so shocked that I didn't take in everything. But watching it back now, I'm like, tell him to get out faster. Yeah. Um, yeah, but that was a lot of get outs. There was a lot, that of, was a lot of get outs. Just leave, what are you still doing here? Yeah. Get out. It was so many times you said mm -hmm. that to him. And he just stared at you like he had never seen crying before. He just, <laughs> he was just like, like just Tears. fascinated by, by your pain. He just yeah. kept looking at you. And I was like, what kind of human being are you? You just broke her heart and now you're right. just staring at her while she cries. Like, yeah. get out. And I don't have a good crying face. Like, Note to self to always wear waterproof mascara from now on because it was on my forehead at one point. I'm like, geez. Your tears went up there? Yeah, I don't know. Wow. I don't remember. I don't know how any of it I happened. I don't remember how that happened. By the way, have you heard from Ari at all since that night that, that we all saw you? No. Nothing. Not, nothing at all. Yeah. What do you expect? Do you think he will ever call you again to just. No. No. I don't think so. I think um, just out of respect for Lauren and that relationship, I don't think he will. Yeah. Which I understand. Yeah. I, yeah. I, I agree. I'm just wondering if that's going to yeah. last. Or if he's going to come back to you at some point, um, maybe he shows up during the season, like the uh, like your boyfriend. Uh, then I was thinking God. your boyfriend. Maybe you're going to now. Now he thinks he has a shot. What uh, if he shows up as one of the bachelors, your boyfriend? Um, That'd be weird. Yeah. I'd say, Please get back in the limo. Yeah. Okay. Get out. <laughs> get out. Now you know how to say that. Yeah. Now you know how to get somebody out of there. Um, all right. So what are you looking at? What what kind of uh, a guy do you want? You know. Physical traits, I don't really have a type. I'm all over the board, but um, personality-wise, I want somebody that's honest and mm -hmm. loyal, mm -hmm. obviously. Yeah. Um, Let's not aim too high. Yeah, right? All right. <laughs> so demanding. Yeah. Um, you have a celebrity crush, I understand. Oh, do I ever? Who, who is yes. it? Michael Strahan. Michael Strahan. Yes. Okay, and why is that? I just love the gap tooth. You I, love the gap tooth? I do, I do. Just everything about him. Um, all right. Yeah. Well, he's all those qualities that you said, too. Yeah. So maybe. Bring him in the limo. Come all right. On. <laughs> we will send him in the limo. That would be great. He's Game the, over. It'd be a really short season. It really would. Yeah. Let's see if they'll do it. Yeah. I mean, he, I'm sure he's watching right now. So, Michael. Michael. Yeah. Michael. 
<laughs> All right, I have a gift for you to help the experience because you, you've been through this. You know it's long hours, it's a lot of different things. Yes. So here's what we're gonna do. I have oh. <laughs> I have this for you, which basically says break only when you're gonna say I love you to one person. That's oh, it, this right? Is okay, good. and okay. there's the hammer okay. for that, okay? Oh, this is perfect. Yep. And then we have oh, five hour energy packets because you know God bless you. Yeah. Um, pajamas for you to sleep in. It's a. I love it's, robes. It's a, it's a robe, actually. And uh, I wear this right now. Yep. My book, because you're. They don't let you be on the internet, so you can oh. read my book. Um, <laughs> I have uh, this to help you sleep. Ooh. My face on it. Um, there's uh, it some men's. Yeah, keep it on. Keep it on. That's fine. Um, oh. And then, oh. of course, uh, <laughs> other things I can't get. Oh, I have this. I have a picture of Michael Strahan. Oh, this is gonna go next so, to my bed. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Is this good? That's yours. That's it. it Y'all look so good together. Oh, thanks. All right. That's it. Becca's <laughs> season of The Bachelorette premieres Monday, May 28th. So I can't wait to talk to you and see what happens. I, I wish you the best.